Now to a special lady celebrating a very special birthday. Helen Clare could be seen performing at the Dorchester in the 1930s, where she sang in the ballroom. She was also a well-known voice on radio shows broadcast to the forces abroad. As she prepares to mark her 100th birthday, she's been invited back to the hotel, and Alice van der Kravi went to meet her. Good Night Angel, recorded in this very room by this lady, Helen Clare, one of the best known voices of the 1930s. It was here in the ballroom at the Dorchester that she made her name. It was London's top night spot. <laughs> It really was a very enjoyable time, and we had these wonderful cabarets. The stage used to come up out of the floor. It was lovely watching the people who came to dine and dance, and we had some very nice people. I remember Marlena Dietrich and uh, Douglas Franks Jr., Gary Grant and Princess Marina and the Duke of Kent. It was the place to be, wasn't yeah, it? absolutely. Helen Clare was not only known for her live performances, but also those broadcast on BBC Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, we present the only nightingale in the world at present known to wear a skirt. None other than lovely Helen Clare. In my imagination, I search the starlit sky so bright in my imagination. That's all for today, pupils. Thank you. This is Helen sitting behind band leader Jack Jackson on the stage which made them famous. And there were perks to being the resident singer at the Dorchester. The highlights of being here, well, one of them for me was going down into the kitchens when the cabaret was on and the chef there used to make me crepe Suzette's, <laughs> which uh, I thoroughly enjoyed before going back for another hour's work. Today, the chef at the Dorchester will be preparing Helen's favourite dish once again to celebrate her 100th birthday. Alice Bandukravi, BBC London News. What a wonderful lady and we do wish her a very happy 100th birthday.